Hello, everybody, and welcome to my fifth lesson about music production in Audio Tool. Uh, today, we're going to look at straight versus swing or shuffle time. Um, so, real quick, notice that I've already dropped our uh, drum sampler in here and uh, loaded up some samples into it. Um, I've created myself a note track, and I've put down just a really simple kick, snare, kick, snare. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate now uh, with this sitting here like this uh, what actually we're going to be talking about. So um, first thing I'm going to do uh, to, to, for the demonstration, um, you don't have to do any of this yet. I'm going to just walk through some steps and explain what this is about before we actually start doing it. But I'm going to slow the tempo down a little bit here. Let's grab something like maybe 90-ish, 90-ish. Um, and then I'm going to I'm going to set this to loop, not going to drag it uh, a loop region like before. Um, this is just I'm not actually messing with the song. I just want it to play this thing uh, for a million years until I'm done with that. So there's a little loop on off button up here on the top. And notice that when I when I turn that on, I get this gray area here. This is how. Uh, this is not going to let the song ever continue past the end of this point. So when I play this, it just plays it over and over and over, and it doesn't continue through towards the end of the song. So uh, this little loop region uh, thing is um, really helpful when you just want to target one little thing and mess with it um, without having to worry about what comes next. You're just trying to get this one thing right. So I'm going to demonstrate now what this actually sounds like. Um, I'm going to actually turn this up just a little bit. Okay. Um, so here's my beat, and um, I'm going to, I've got my guitar. I'm just going to play like a, a, a blues rhythm guitar thing so that you can hear what's going on. So here's my beat. And here is my guitar. So notice, as I do that, I'll do that again, um, but notice that I'm playing twice as often as there is a drum hit, right? So every time there's a beat up here, um, I'm hitting uh, the guitar as well, but then I'm also hitting another beat uh, on the guitar every eighth note, halfway in between where my drum beats are. The timing of when I hit the guitar in between those drums is what we're talking about today. So a straight rhythm is exactly what I played, and I'm going to be playing the second note, the little eighth note um, in between each one of those drums, is going to be placed precisely halfway between each drum hit. Same thing, this is the straight rhythm. Now here's a shuffled rhythm. What's gonna happen is that the halfway uh, note in between each drum is going to be dragged so it's too late, and it's gonna be much closer to the drum that hits after it than the drum that hit before it. So that's the shuffled rhythm there. Here's the straight rhythm. Everything's exactly halfway in between. And here's the shuffle again. So you can hear what that does to the, uh, to the flow. It completely changes the feel of it. And as you can see, our drums are playing exactly the same thing in exactly the same tempo, but we can, by, by changing how we time things in between, uh, we can radically change what the thing feels like. So now let's actually get into Audio Tool and start building this. Um, and this is where you are going to start joining in and, um, and, and doing this as well. So I'm going to turn that, uh, I'll just leave the loop on for the moment, but um, I'm going to give myself a two measure loop right here make our pattern twice as long let's just duplicate this out so make sure you've got what i have here <clears throat> we'll want to start with this much and i'm going to sort of zoom in here so i can see grid lines on those those eighth notes in between easiest thing that i'm going to do to make this work is i'm just going to um let's see i think i can uh if i click on here with the pencil tool I can um, 
click and hold command and just drag uh, command on my Mac computer control on your uh, Chromebook or Windows PC. So yeah, I just click and held held the button down and uh, hold control while I do that and just drag it across. Now, um, because my grid over here is showing the eighth notes, right? Um, those are those are timed exactly halfway across, and so now we can hear that. So that's uh, that's exactly what we want. Now. Uh, we've got an example of the straight time. Let's have an example of the swing time. So I'm going to duplicate this by holding control and come on. Whoa. Oh, I'm in a pencil tool. That's why. Arrow key. So control, grab, and drag. I'm going to leave a little space there just so my brain has room. Um, okay. And then I'm going to move our little loop region. So it's highlighted what we're looking at now. OK, so um, to make this work, what we're going to need to do is change our, um, our grid setting. Um, if we go over here to the smart uh, grid settings, <clears throat> instead of picking eighth notes, we can pick one eighth T. Now what that is is triplet. So what it's going to do when we do that is instead of splitting each beat into two even parts, it's going to split it into three even parts. Notice um, you can you can see the length of my of my beat one right here, and there's where beat two starts. And we've got two uh, segments on the hi-hat right there. So let's switch to the eighth note triplets. And now you can see the grid has gone to three segments per beat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the front. Let's see. Um, this is going to be a little annoying like this. But yeah, I'm going to shorten each of the second. Um, the, the, the first hit on the hi-hat, I'm going to leave. And the second one, I'm going to shorten and then drag back because I don't want it to spill over onto the next one. It may or may not actually matter, but... Um, so, let's hear what that sounds like. And now, if we want to, we can actually drag the, the first one. Just it, This completely doesn't matter, but I just want to visually uh, show you what this looks like. Notice that the, the amount of space that we're giving to the first hit is exactly twice as long as the space that we're giving to the second hit. So really what we're doing is we're, we're playing two of the three segments here. So this is, this is actually kind of a triplet feel where we're, um, but we're not acknowledging that there are three segments. We're saying that it's two segments and they're not even. That's, that's kind of um, really what's, what's happening here. So. You can really hear the difference there and see the timing difference. So um, rather than struggle with getting the hi-hat, I'll correct over here. I'm just going to delete those ones and copy these. Control, drag. OK, so now I have my, my beat. It's not a good beat. There's nothing interesting going on here. Um, so I can, uh, let's just start dropping some extra things in here. Um, uh, let's get, so once again, I, I'm gonna want you guys to make something just a little bit on the interesting side. Um, notice the different velocities that I have here. Velocity is how hard I'm hitting the drum, right? So um, I've got a hi-hat note and a snare drum note, and they're both happening at the same time, but I'm leaving the, the hi-hat note at full uh, volume, and the snare drum is being reduced in volume. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so um, sounds a little contrived. Um, 
one thing that we can do here is every now and every now and then we can actually put all three hits in there, and that would be consistent with um, with a shuffle or or a swing feel beat. Is to uh, we we don't want to make it feel like the triplet thing is. Um, the main event here, but we can acknowledge that there are, in fact, three segments there. Listen to what that does when we just add one little spot with that. Okay, so that is what's going on there. So, um, try and uh, build yourself an interesting uh, to measure long pattern uh, using eighth note shuffle. I'm gonna duplicate that one more time and let's have a look at one more variation on this. This time, instead of doing an eighth note pattern, um, I wanna do a 16th note pattern and we're gonna swing the 16th notes. This I think for, for a lot of people is gonna be sort of the, um, the thing that is the most interesting. So I'm gonna to switch to a 16th note pattern here. I'm gonna go pencil tool, I'm gonna to control and drag across again. Um, that did not happen how I wanted. If I move the mouse too fast, it skips some. That's fine, it's easy to go back and fill those in. Okay, so now I've got all the 16th notes in place. Now, what we're gonna do is the same thing that we did with the um, with the eighth notes. So, um, let me just get zoomed in a little tighter here. Okay, so, um, notice I've got four even segments across beat one, right? So um, we're going to call these one, E, and, uh, if you're being all technical and, and college-y about this, that's what we call those. That's the label for the first, second, third, and fourth segment in, in the space of a beat. One, or beat two, or beat three, whichever beat you're on. Then E, and, uh. So now what we're going to do is instead of being set to a 16th note grid, we're going to go to a 16th note triplet grid. So again, each uh, that space that used to be divided into two even parts here is now divided into three even parts. So I'm going to do the same thing, switch back to my arrow tool. I'm going to, yeah, that'll work, I'll shorten them all. Um, I'm going to drag the second one so it's it's displaced the first hit right here. Yeah. Let's see if I can't. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Um, the first one is going to take up... I really want the visual of this. There we go. Um, messed up my view here. There we go. Okay, so the first um hit right here takes up twice as much second space as the second hit um so let's just get enough space here that we can oops we can hear what this is actually doing ah okay so this is what it sounds like when it's when we're leaving the halfway point across the beat in exactly the same space but the halfway point of that halfway point is displaced a little bit. Yeah. That's got, again, another flavor to it. So um, again, rather than, rather than continuing that meticulous little business, I'm just gonna copy some of that. Get two more beats worth of that. Oops. Okay, so here's my 16th note pattern.
let's add some kick drum stuff going on. I know what this is going to sound like already. So that's... Uh... Mm hmm? Oops. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. That's where the snare drum was going to be. Okay. Okay, so that definitely has a flavor like it's, it's uh, gosh, I don't know, just with the sounds and, and the, the way it's flowing, it reminds me of like um, late 80s rap music or something like that, um, which is exactly where that particular genre was coming from. They were using drum samplers just like uh, they're simulating in audio tool right here, and they were loading pre-recorded um, drum samples into it. So um, I believe... They've got some settings on on these um, this TR808 drum sampler. Yeah, the 808 big boomy drums that everybody still likes to put in um, in music are from the Roland 808 uh, drum sampler, which was where a lot of those guys were coming from back then. This is uh, the 909, which was the the successor to that, also from Roland. So those those old drum samplers. Um, kind of were making this sound and and by by penciling the tool the the notes in and duplicating the um the drum beats that they were had we actually get really really close to the sounds that they were making for for the, those tracks um okay so anyway you get the idea here i hope um and i hope that you reach out to me if you're confused about this but what i would like to see in this um you you don't really need to have this this first beat that was just a, a straight rhythm. You've been making straight rhythm beats already. What I want to see is a two measure loop that's got eighth note shuffle, and a two measure loop that's got sixteenth note shuffle. And um, I I realize I don't think I've explained what shuffle and swing those two different words are exactly the same. Um, so, for example, if you if you like blues music, you call it shuffle. If you like jazz music, you call it swing. It's the exact same thing. It's just different crowds have a different word for it. Um, so, yeah, make sure that you've got a two-measure beat that's got eighth-note shuffle and a two-measure pattern that's got sixteenth-note shuffle. And there is plenty enough for you to work on for one day. I think we're good. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one. Make sure you publish this and share it to your, uh, well, publish it, paste your uh, profile page into the classroom so I can uh, see what you did and get a grade on it. Thanks.